What is theater for? I think theater is perfectly made for times like these. White noise involves us all in a conversation about ways that we are close to people, the things that we aren't saying that we're keeping inside. It just gives us an opportunity to look at ourselves. Let the games begin. <laughs> White noise is about four friends, two interracial couples who have been friends from college, are now about 10 years out in the world. What happens to one of the friends, Leo, the black guy, is one night he gets roughed up by the cops. This racially motivated incident with the cops is so upsetting to him that he chooses to take some radical action. And we watch how that affects the friendship of these four close friends. The shit hits the fan, yo. <laughs> I'm black and I'm proud. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> these four actors have brought these characters to life in an amazing way. It's the best portrait that I've seen capturing the sense of how at this moment in America, race is confusing and real and powerful and the way it impacts the lives of these four people is just extraordinary. To me, white noise is funny, deep, smart, and profoundly uneasy. It's like I was digging in a mine. The pressure to go down that deep underneath the surface of things into a place of unspoken pain, anger, love, you know. It's so far the hardest play I've ever written. What I hope it does for audiences is guides them into examining the ways that in our own lives, racism and the legacy of American slavery are coloring our view of the world. The quote that starts off the play is from James Baldwin. It says, not everything can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it's faced. And that's really the work of the play.